Hey everybody, this is example number three for mechanics of materials covering strain transformation. The problem statement that we have is the differential element shown in the figure below experiences a state of plane strain and the normal strain in the x direction is equal to negative 400 times 10 to the negative 6. The normal strain in the y direction is equal to 200 times 10 to the negative 6 and the shear strain is equal to 100 times 10 to the negative 6 and we need to find the maximum in-plane shear strain and the associated orientation of the element. So here's our figure. Uh, the element shown in red is the undeformed element. The, the dashed green shows the deformed element under the given strains. And this figure also shows the relationship between the deformation and the, and the different strains. The first thing we're going to do is find the orientation of the element that's associated with the maximum in-plane shear strain. And it's based on this equation. It's equal to tan of 2 times theta s equals negative. The normal uh, equals the normal strain. The normal strain in the x minus the normal strain in the y divided by the shear strain. And so I already plugged the numbers and it came out to be this came out to be equal to six. And so one thing to note here is that this equation will have two solutions, theta one and theta two, and they will be 90 degrees apart. So first we're going to solve for theta one. And so theta one will be equal to the inverse tangent of six divided by two. And that comes out to be, let me check, I made a spreadsheet for this uh, example. So theta one here, theta one is equal to 40.269 degrees. So 40.27 degrees. 40.27 degrees. And also, so like I said before, this example has two solutions. So theta s2 is just equal to theta s1, theta 1 plus 90 degrees. So 40.27 plus 90 is equal to 130.27 degrees. And to visualize it uh, graphically, we can see that the, the black coordinate system is the original coordinate system, and the one shown in red is the coordinate system, the orientation associated with the maximum in-plane shear strain. And so 40.27 is the angle between x and x prime. And 130.27 is the angle between x and y prime. The next step will be to calculate the maximum, maximum in-plane shear strain based on this formula. It's equal to the maximum in-plane shear strain divided by 2 is equal to the square root of the normal strain in the x minus the normal strain in the y divided by 2 squared plus the shear strain divided by 2 squared. And so it's simply just plugging in the numbers. And the maximum in-plane shear strain is equal to, let me check, uh, it's equal to here, 6.08 times 10 to the negative 4. 6.08 times 10 to the negative 4. And by the way, guys, you can get access to these spreadsheets at our website at engineeringexamples.net. Once we found the maximum in-plane shear strain, we need to find the sign, meaning is it a positive shear strain or is it a negative shear strain? So we know that the angle between the x and x prime uh, between x and x prime uh, axis is equal to 40.27 degrees x and x prime and so we're just going to take this angle and plug it into the strain transformation equation here's the tra strain transformation equation uh, I, and I modified this a little bit uh, what you see you typically there's also a divided by 2 all the terms are divided by 2 but I just to, I just multiply by two, 2 throughout, so I just simplified it even more. So now we're going to plug in this angle into the strain transformation equation into here, into the sine 2 theta term and the cosine 2 theta term. 
and the answer we're going to get is equal to it sh it's going to be equal to 6.08 times 10 to the negative 4 but it could be positive or negative and this will tell us if our in plane maximum in plane shear strain is positive or negative so again it's just plugging plugging in the numbers and uh, let me see so when we plugged in, in plugged in the numbers we got that the shear strain is equal to 6 positive 6.08 times 10 to the negative 4 so it's a positive value 6.08 times 10 to the negative 4 so this is positive so it's saying and so positive means that say we have some type of element like this and let's just call this corner a b c d so what we're saying in positive shear strain is that this angle a this angle here it's going to be equal to less than 90 degrees so it's going to be something like something like this so the angle the angle at b it was 90 degrees but positive shear strain indicates that it's going to be now it's going to be less than 90 degrees and the last step is we're going to also find the average normal strain and even though the problem statement didn't ask us to do this we still go ahead and do this it's a pretty simple step and so the average normal strain is equal to the normal strain in the x plus the normal strain in the y divided by 2 it comes out to be negative 1 times 10 to the negative 4 and then also we can visualize what we have here and so again um, this is the, in black is the original coordinate system and then the the coordinate system in the in the red is the one associated with the maximum in plane shear strain and so you can also see that this angle here is less than 90 degrees which indicates positive uh, which indicates positive shear strain and then also you see a contraction in the normal in the normal x here and the normal y direction and that's based on because we had a nor we had an average uh, average normal strain and that's based on the average normal strain being negative so that's why there's a contraction of this element in the normal directions and this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash engineering examples. And also, again, to get access to the spreadsheets, you can go to our website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.